Hi, my name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. In my household, there's me, my husband, and our adorable three-year-old little boy. On our channel, you'll find simple and tasty recipes using everyday ingredients. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having this garlicky pasta that I picked up from Trader Joe's a while ago on a haul. And here it is, really quick and easy to make. You just add a little bit of water to the skillet and the pasta, and then you just kind of let it steam. Very garlicky. And we're also having some leftover green beans that I had in the fridge that I needed to use up, and a garlic knot. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we will see y'all next time. Hey guys, so Howard and I are out for lunch today. We're trying out a new Chinese restaurant. So let me show you what we got. We both got hot and sour soup with our lunch special and rice. This is mine. It is sesame chicken. We ordered some veggie egg rolls. Howard got General Tso's chicken. For an appetizer, we got some garlic pork ribs and don't they look delicious? Only thing we're waiting on is Howard's soup dumplings. So I will show them to you once they come to the table. And the soup dumplings just arrived at the table. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having Mississippi pot roast. I used to make this all the time on our channel and I haven't made it in a while. So in my crock pot, I have a two pound roast. It's actually a little bit more than two pounds. I have some brown gravy sprinkled on top, some um, ranch mix as well. And then the original recipe calls for pepperoncini. I thought I had some in my fridge, but I didn't. So I am using, I have like a half a jar of these banana pepper rings. So I have sprinkled those on top. I did look online to see if it's similar in flavor to the pepperoncini and it said that it is, but banana peppers are actually a little bit more spicy. And then instead of adding, half, excuse me, a whole stick of butter unsalted, I use half a stick. I've always used half a stick and I've never had any problems, but um, this recipe is good for boneless, skinless chicken thighs. I've used that before, pork, you name it. It's just a really flavorful recipe. So I'm gonna cover this, cook it on low, for probably about 10 to 12 hours. Okay, so here is dinner. It's been about, probably about 11 hours, and I am serving the roast with some rice, and then I made some mixed greens with smoked ham hocks, and we're also having some yeast rolls. I am using these Kroger Ready to Bake Original Yeast Rolls. I just let them kind of proof and then um, I put them in the oven, of course. Oh, and here is the rest of the roast right here in the crock pot, and it made a lot of juice. If you'll remember, I did not add any water to it at all. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we will see y'all next time. Hey guys, so I'm trying out a new recipe for dinner tonight. It is a ravioli fettuccine. And in this pot, I am boiling two packages of this five cheese ravioli. I picked it up from Aldi, nine ounces each. And in this skillet right over here, I've got some butter, garlic, and some freeze dried parsley. And um, once my pasta is done, I'm gonna drain it, add it to the skillet, and then add my heavy whipping cream and Parmesan cheese. Okay, so here is dinner all plated up and it is very tasty. As you can see, it was very easy to throw together. I did not add any additional salt to it because we're trying to watch our salt and I felt like there was gonna be plenty of salt in that Parmesan cheese, but it is very good. Serving it with a garlic knot and a side salad with um, Olive Garden dressing. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. And I will make sure to leave the recipe in the description box. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are eating these ribs that I had in my freezer. They were $7.24 and then I got them for 50% off, which is a great deal. So this was like three bucks and some change for this half a rack of um, St. Louis style ribs and they're already seasoned. Then we're also gonna have some fresh corn on the cob 
And then I am going to doctor up this box of macaroni by adding some um, extra cheese and sour cream and baking it. I have done this on our channel several times. I will try to remember to link the video with instructions on how I do it. But quick and easy dinner tonight. Okay, so here are the ribs. They just came off the grill. There are seven bones on here and they're really thick and meaty. And here's the mac and cheese, just came out of the oven. So I'm gonna plate everything up and uh, show you what it looks like. Okay, so here is dinner all plated up. Got the grilled corn on the cob, macaroni and cheese, and those ribs. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time.